Welcome to the Pragmatic Developers Scala Cookbook. The first volume is going to be about beginning Scala. I'm Antonio Salazar Cardozo, and I've spent many years working in Scala, at least the last eight. I've been a committer on the Lyft web framework for quite a few years, and I've helped to build three applications from an early stage, two of them from scratch, in Scala using the Lyft framework. Let's talk about the course itself. First, we'll start by discussing REPLs and development tools. In this section, we'll talk about the Ammonite REPL that we'll be using for a lot of the recipes throughout the various volumes that we'll be doing. We'll talk about how to use the SBT build tool for Scala, and we'll talk about getting an SBT project imported into the IntelliJ IDEA IDE for development using an IDE, if that's your thing. Section two is gonna be devoted to basic Scala concepts. So we'll talk about a few aspects of Scala philosophy, such as null allergies and the option type and the idea that everything is an expression. We'll also talk about basic data types. We'll talk about functions and match statements. And we'll talk about the basics of interaction with collections, which forms the underlying substrate on which a lot of Scala code tends to be built. Lastly, in section three, we'll talk about basic object-oriented Scala. So how common object-oriented concepts are implemented in Scala, a few places where there are some key differences, and specifically we'll talk about traits and the Scala concept of singletons, as well as some best practices around all of those pieces. Prerequisite-wise, we'll expect you to have a basic understanding of object-oriented programming, a general familiarity with the command line, though we'll largely be using Scala tools, and uh, finally, somewhat less important, a familiarity with basic Java concepts like null, static variables, and static methods, mostly because in certain cases we compare some of what Scala does to what Java does. At the end of this course, we want you to have an understanding of how to experiment with Scala. We want you to be able to assemble a Scala project. We want you to grasp the core functionality of Scala, including some basic philosophical ideas, options, collections, and for comprehensions. And finally, if you have that back-end kind of Java knowledge, we want you to have a basic mapping from some of the Java concepts that you're familiar with to Scala and how it approaches some of those same problems.